Welcome to my step motion control series of example and demonstration videos. This demo focuses on configuring and running a Coolmuscle CM1T with a Schneider M241 series PLC using Ethernet IP. The CM1T is an integrated motor offering additional protocols such as EtherCAT, Modbus TCP, and TCP IP. Take a look at our other videos for example demos on these protocols. Along with the CM1T Ethernet IP device, is the CM1T library. This library conforms to the PLC Open Motion Control Technical Specification. Conforming to this specification simplifies deployment and use of the CM1T. As you can see in this list, multiple standard function blocks are available to administer and control a CM1T access. This demo project implements most of these function blocks and can be downloaded. Let's open Machine Expert and start a new project. The PLC we are connecting to in this demo is a TM241CEC24T. We are leaving the controller name as my controller and using structured text in our main function. Give a name to the project, we are going with CM1T demo and click OK. When first using the CM1T, we are going to need to add the CM1T Ethernet IP device. This is done through the Ethernet IP EDS file which describes our device to the controller. Click Tools, then Device Repository. In the Device Repository window, click Install and browse for the file name called cm1teip.eds. Once installed, you should see the cm1t device listed under Ethernet IP Targets. Next, let's install the cm1t library. Select the Tools Tree tab and double click the Library Manager. Similar to the device file, first we need to install the library to the repository. Once it is installed, we add the library to our project. Click the Add Library button and find the CM1T library under Miscellaneous. Now we get to use the device and library. In this example, we're creating a global variable called CM1T Access with the variable type access ref from the CM1T library. Add the variable to the global variable list in the applications tree. Move back to the device tree and we'll work on the Ethernet IP network. First, we add the industrial Ethernet manager under the protocol managers. Next, highlight the Industrial Ethernet Manager and click on the green button to add the CM1T. This can easily be found by selecting My State Motion Control under the Vendors drop-down list. The CM1T network is quite flexible and in this example we have a fixed IP address that needs to be entered. The final step to adding the device is setting up the Ethernet IP I.O. mappings. Double click the input variable to open the input assistant. Select the data in variable under the CM1 access variable you created earlier. Do the same in the output exclusive owner selecting the data out variable. The naming has been conveniently set so that the input maps to the data in and output maps to data out. Finally, we get to download the program and make sure everything is running. Click the login button on the toolbar, download the program to the PLC and run it. If everything is set up correctly, you should see the green lights across the board. If you want to take a look at the top input mapping, you also see a value incrementing. This is the CM1T drives process account showing us we are connected and functioning. Now that everything is set up, we went ahead and added some content to demonstrate the library functions. In the main PLC function, we have function blocks such as MC power and MC reset, calls to get mode information like position, velocity, torque, and status. Below these are the motion function blocks, stop, 
halt, move absolute, move relative, move additive, and move velocity. Towards the end, the homing functions, home and set position, assist with setting the motor's index. The final call in the main routine is a multi-move program. This uses a continuous function chart to run the motor between two positions. As can be seen, very little additional logic is required, as where the move absolute completes, it executes the next one. Let's log in and run the program. Some visualizations were added to help us run and monitor the motor. In the first tab, we can set some targets and execute the different types of motion. An overall view shows us all the motor information and includes buttons to power, reset and stop the motor. In the video, you can see the position, speed, torque and axis state changing as we execute and run the different move functions. The second tab starts a home routine. The motor is set up to home to a hard stop. So you can see when we physically stop the motor, it sets its current position to zero, which is now the new home position. Finally, the third tab runs the continuous function chart we set up to continuously run the motor between two positions. The continuous update input has been set to true so we can dynamically change the target position, speed and acceleration during operation to immediately update the motion. We hope you found this video useful. Please contact MyStat support for any questions regarding the CM1T or any other motor in the Cool Muscle lineup.